Coucou my peace, hello my loves, marhaba haybete. Do you guys remember I hauled this when I was still back in London? I told you I'd tell you about it and then I kind of fell off that end wagon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't wear a lot of makeup over the summer and I was waiting on some other mascaras to run out and then I was like, well, I should probably just try this out. So this is the Fairy Drops um, Scandals Queen Waterproof Mascara. I just found that they have a second one. It's called like the Quattro Mascara. Um, I have not tried that one out yet, but I'm kind of curious too now. This one was recommended to me by my sweet friend Iram. I will link her Instagram down and below. She told me that this was one that she really loved to layer, especially if she was going to the gym and needed that extra waterproof uh, aspect, then this was the one that she loved to use. So I don't usually do waterproof mascara. I just find that I worry um, that it's going to take out too many of my already dwindling eyelashes when I try to wash it off. I love this guy though. Even though it's waterproof, I can still get it off. Like I do usually... Uh, uh, two cleanses. I get most of it off with my first cleanse and my second cleanse will take the rest of it off. Um, it doesn't leave my lashes feeling dry or dehydrated or any of that kind of thing. It's really lovely. What I adore about this mascara is the length that it gives. So I'm going to try to insert a little close up of I had it on one eye, my right, your left, and not the other eye. So that was just one coat of it and I want to show you guys the length, like the crazy, crazy length that it gives. I absolutely adore it for that. I wear it by itself sometimes, but you guys know me. I like Elizabeth Taylor type drama in my lashes. So I usually will pair this thing. with um, volumizing and I find like the combo is just amazing. So I've really been enjoying it. It retails for 18 pounds. I found it on Cult Beauty and the reason I default to Cult Beauty if I find it there is because they have free worldwide shipping after 50 pounds. Um, which is just a nice hub where you can buy stuff. Um, so it is 18 pounds, it's a little bit pricier, but I do really, really enjoy it. I like the waterproof aspect. I find that there's a lot less fallout underneath my eyes. I didn't really used to realize how much, especially when I put mascara on my bottom lashes, I'd have a lot of fallout. Um, and it also just gives me length like nothing else. Even my favorite Holy Grail Hourglass mascara doesn't give me length like this. Um, so the packaging on it though is adorable. It might be one of my favorite parts. So the detailing is just really, really, really cute. And then the wand is really distinctive. So can you guys see how it's sort of curved with the little balls on it? I don't know what exactly the benefit of having in the... I mean, the curve obviously to help, but the little bumps, I just find... Like, it says that it's supposed to help grip every single lash and get everything through. I find a hard time missing any of the lashes and the length that I get on them. Um, if it has anything to do at all with the wand, then that's amazing. Excuse me. Um, so yeah, all around, I really, really do enjoy this. I wish it was a little bit more affordable, especially if you're going to use it as a layering mascara. But I do... Excuse me, the hiccups today. I do really, really enjoy it, and I do highly recommend it. Um, so yeah, if you're in the market, and you are looking at it and considering it, give it a try. Call Beauty usually around the holidays does their, like... Okay, so I think you still have to spend, like, 75 or 100 pounds. Um, which is not a, a, a little amount of money, but Cult Beauty has a lot of skincare. You can get to that number very easily. What I'm trying to get at is that around the holidays, they have like, depending on how much you spend, you take money off. So I think it's like 100 pounds, get 20 pounds off, 150, get 25, like that kind of thing. So this might be something to add to your wish list and wait for that sale to come along if you wanted to do that. Um, but yeah, I think I'm just talking in circles. So <laughs> questions, your experience with the mascara, um, any great mascara finds recently that you've had, please share those with us down below. I'm going to do some quick points of positivity and I'll be done. My first point of positivity is a new book that I started called uh, Oracle Night. Night or Nights? I think it's Oracle Night. Um, it's really, really good. I've really been enjoying reading it. My second point of positivity is a really great phone call with Bestie that I had the other day. Um, it was really lovely and I enjoyed it. And then my third point of positivity is um, Noelle sent me a voice memo. I'll link Noelle's channel down below. And Dakota like jumped onto the bed and started purring. I'm in love with her cats. Like it, it's not it's not normal how much I love those cats. So that all of that made me really happy to hear her voice. The cat. Noelle, of course, always, but the cat. Mm -hmm. Um, and that is it for me today. I want to send you guys ever so much love. Thank you as always for being here. I can never leave you without reminding you that life is just way too short to wear boring lipstick. Bye guys.